Okay, sorry guys, I had to quickly turn it off and then come back. And my phone started dying, so I had to plug it in, so I had to move the camera a bit. Sorry. Where was I? Oh yes. Do ye look on things after the outward appearance? If any man trusts to himself that he is Christ, let him of himself think this again, that as he is Christ, even so are we Christ. For though I should boast somewhat more of our authority, which the Lord has given us for edification and not for your destruction, I should not be ashamed. So he's saying that believers should not be ashamed of the gospel or preaching the truth, even if it offends some people, right? That I may not seem as if I would terrify you by letters, for his letters say they are weighty and powerful, but his bodily presence is weak and his speech uh, contemptible. Let such and one think this, that such as we are in word by letters, when we are... Uh, Absent, such will we be also indeed when we are present. For we dare not make ourselves of the number or compare ourselves with some that com uh, commend themselves, but they, measuring themselves by themselves and comparing themselves among themselves, are not wise. But we will not boast of things without our measure. But according to the measure of the rule, which God has distributed to us, a measure to reach even unto you. For we stretch not ourselves beyond our measure, as though we reached not unto you. For we are come as far as to you also in preaching the gospel of Christ, not boasting of things without our measure, that is, of other men's labors, but having hope when your faith is increased that we shall be enlarged by you according to our rule abundantly to preach the gospel in the regions beyond you and not to boast in another man's line of things made ready to our hand. But he that glorious, let him glory in the Lord for not he that commendeth himself is approved but whom the lord commend us so you know there are going to be a lot of people trying to say that i'm this and that i'm doing this and that i i did this and that before it has no bearing on me at all <clears throat> daddy tell me so that being said glory goes to christ he has blessed me and guided me throughout this. You can say, believe whatever you want about me. My truth is solid in Christ. That is the only one I fear. And the only one I care uh, for the thoughts of. Uh, I only care for the things of Christ. So I, I end this with a prayer. Okay? So let's pray together. Dear Lord, I repent of all sins known and unknown. Wash me in your holy blood and cleanse me of all unrighteousness. Thank you, Lord, for the Holy Spirit and guiding me through uh, this amazing live I did today. I pray, Lord, that those with ears to hear, hear the truth in the Lord. In, hear the truth in this, Lord. I want to thank you for those who oppose my views. And, and your word, Lord. You have truly uh, weeded out a lot of the tares among the wheat. I want to thank you, Lord, for a word such as this. Don't let the devil take it out of us. Let it grow and manifest in us, O Lord. I'm so grateful. Thank you for holding on to me and softening my heart so I stay, Lord. Thank you for your sacrifice in saving me this very day last year, Lord. I want to pray for all those who hate me, Lord, that they get truly saved and repent. I want to pray that you work in those who need you, Lord. Strengthen the lukewarm Christian to burn hot again for you, Lord. And break the bonds of sin off of and loosen the strongholds on those with unbelief. I pray for anyone who may cast spells against me, that they be cast down and bind 
the spirits, altars, and incantations of all witchcraft, satanic altars, and uh, altars of false gods, altars of spells, incantations, all enemy altars, prayers to false gods, be cast down, stomp them into powder in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I render them utterly powerless against me, Lord, against my family in the name of Jesus Christ. I render you witchcraft workers, spirit of Jezebels, powerless in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, all glory to you for this amazing word. I hope those thirsty and hungry get the spiritual food you served. Thank you for allowing me to serve this food uh, for you to them. Uh, thank you. I love you, Lord, so much. Thank you so much, Lord. This was a blessing, uh, and I hope that it's a blessing to those who truly see the blessing in this. Thank you so much, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. So I will be back on March 20th to do my 31 weeks of wifehood um, live. I will see you all then, if not sooner. Guys, come on, come on. Punchy. Okay, so I'll be back then, guys. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, a comment or message me, and I will get back to you. Sorry if you guys heard the toilet. Sorry, guys, for my son's defecation over there. Sorry. Or was that flatulence? I forget. Flatulence. I forget the words there. Fla he flatulate, flatu flatulated. He flatulated. I'm very sorry for that. Um, and then the defecation in the background after the toilet was flushed. So There's sorry. No defecation. About that. There was no defecation. No. I'm sorry, guys. I I should not be speaking about these things. <laughs> sorry. Anyway, I'll be back then, March 20th. Write down in your uh, calendar books if you want to be on that live with me. I will be here at 11 a.m. on that day, sharp. As I was sharp today, I was here at 3 p.m. here today, and it was a long, long, I told you it was a long day. I told you it was going to be one. It's going to be a day. So I love y'all. Uh, see you guys then. And yeah. My How do I end the live now? How do I do this? Oh dear. Do I 